Okay, this is this is the um the really big news. I hope everyone's sitting down because this this was uh, qu quite marvelous to hear. Patrick S. Tomlinson, uh, as I mentioned last stream, I think, had filed with two attorneys to resolve his contempt of court hearing because he had um, he had announced to the world that he did not intend to pay his court-ordered agreement with Quasi. Um, so the court uh, received the request from Quasi's attorney to hold him in contempt. And then he say, okay, this looks plausible. Let's hold a hearing. Hearing is scheduled. Patrick waits until the last second, hires two different attorneys to represent him, goes to court, and they agree um, to a settlement. And this is after weeks and weeks and weeks and months and maybe even years of Patrick Tomlinson saying, no, it's insignificant, baby, child. Quasi will not get a single cent. I will not pay those terrorists demanding an extortion, a ransom, a single cent child stalker. And uh, so after this hearing, he agrees to a settlement. The details are not made public, I don't think. And today the news has come in that... Patrick Tomlinson has paid Quasi $32,709.80 and $5 to the court as a court fee. Um, and it says there, full satisfaction. So I think that is the full amount. Now, I, I don't know the specific details of his debt um, because in his lawsuit, he sued not only Quasi, he actually um, sued me. I got out of that very quickly. I, I, I retained an attorney for $5,000, um, and I, I took care of that so I didn't have to give any user data over to Patrick Tomlinson. I did not receive anything because I was out of the case very, very early. Um, but Cloudflare and Google were not. They were wrapped up in it. So I think they each have like a fifteen to $20,000 um, award from, from Patrick. Uh, but Quasi had the significant twenty-three something thousand dollars, and then that accrued interest up to the amount of fifty-nine thousand. I want to say, so he has received his full payment, and then also a third of the interest that had accrued on it. Um, and I think that he still owes Cloudflare and Google money. I think people even I think people posted documents that indicate that Patrick took a lien out on his house to secure a loan to immediately pay. Um, either Google or Cloudflare, or maybe both. I'm not sure what the, the, the deal is with that. Um, so after the many years that I've been talking about Patrick now, um, which started with me playing the weird audio from the tr troll pretending to be a Huffington Post reporter, um, and just following his tweets for a while, the, the story has come full circle. He lost his lawsuit. He uh, tried to fight the payment he owed in the appellate court. It was struck down. He agreed to a payment plan that he did not intend to stick to. He was almost held in contempt of court. He had to re-lawyer up because I guess his existing lawyer bailed or he, um, Patrick didn't agree to the payment payment fee that he offered. And then after getting two new lawyers, who I assume said the exact same thing to Patrick that his old lawyer did and told him, pay up, retard. You're about to ruin your fucking life if you don't pay this guy after agreeing to. Um, and fighting it is going to cost you more. Fighting the court-ordered payment schedule that you already agreed to is going to cost more money than just paying it. Just pay it, you fucking idiot. He finally relented and said, okay, fine, I will pay it. And he did. Um, from the court docket, it looks like that he paid the amount in full. Um, I don't, I, like, I'm not intimately familiar with um, Milwaukee uh, court dockets, but... The language seems pretty unambiguous, so um, I feel confident in saying that he has paid Quasi already. Um, as far as... Uh, the, the, what remains is that you would think, you would think after all this, the many, 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 many months of this bullshit, 
and finally being forced to pay the terrorist ransom money by Al Al Qaeda Al Al Qaeda. Um, he is now finally going to just take the L and be done with it. However, uh, unfortunately for him, unfortunately for us, he is Patrick S. Tomlinson, and he does not simply take the L child. Uh, he decides to act like a big fat gay baby on social media. This is him on Knitter, or uh, sorry, on Zitter, which I'm now banned from, by the way. I didn't even mention that, but Elon Musk banned me again. I don't know why. It was a permanent ban, and it wasn't because of any specific tweet, apparently. Um, Patrick says, in reply to uh, Korak saying, Buck broken with the full satisfaction, he says, Wrong as always, stalker. Enjoy prison. Then Simon Skitter says, Hey, Patrick, if you sell 32,000 books, then you'll have what you just paid to Quasi. Patrick says, Wrong as always, stalker. Enjoy prison. Uh, Quark follows that up by says, You cannot be serious. You have to be playing along at this point. And it's another copy of the same thing over and over again. Uh, so the result of him being forced to pay tens of thousands of dollars to to quasi and fighting this litigation in court for years at this point um is nothing he has learned absolutely nothing and i don't know i really don't know what's happening in his head right now because he most certainly has paid quasi so it's a little bit concerning that despite having paid quasi um, he is now on social media saying, no, I have not paid quasi. So it has to be like a, like an actual coping strategy. Like when you suffer PTSD and you disassociate and you start lying, um, about what happened that day, it, he literally is doing that where he's completely disassociated from reality. And he's just pretending that he didn't pay quasi or the other alternative is that the because his legal defense was not paid out of pocket his legal defense was paid for by the science fiction writers association of america uh, the swfaa or sfwaa and that's apparently a guild that's gotten into lots of nasty stuff and a lot of their authors have been um not good people the kind of not good people i don't like to mention on streams because then people complain that i mention those bad people that nobody likes um every stream so in short they've had a lot of controversy um with their other authors and they were the ones that paid for patrick Thompson to sue a bunch of anonymous internet users so it is rumored that perhaps he was able to get the guild of not nice people that we don't talk about to pay for his legal expenses as well his legal awards and then when he's saying, no, I did not pay quasi, he's actually being technically correct and saying that, no, I didn't pay it. The guild did. So he's being up, being obtuse and that allows him to try and maintain his, um, his, uh, facade of, of hardcore never taking an L, you know, that kind of shit that, his ego remains unbruised, but the court is satisfied by the payment. Um, nah, he paid, says a bear. Does a bear have this information? I, I, <laughs> normally when someone is like this retarded, like Tomlinson, I would, I would give them the benefit of a doubt and be like, yeah, he probably did just get the guild to pay or something, and that way he's technically correct. However, I'm at this like the way that he's behaved in the last couple months in regards to the lawsuit and having to come to the reality that he's lost is so baffling to me. I am willing to accept that um he's just lost his fucking mind at this point and um is able to actually live in a like a fake reality where he won and the money that he's paid quasi isn't actually isn't actually going to him somehow or he's just like blotted it out of his head maybe he okay here okay here's my here's my theory here's what happened uh, write this in stone this is my actual take patrick tomlinson had one of those narcissistic meltdowns like uh, there's a i think it is nar narcissistic meltdown where like a, a proper narcissist is confronted on their lies and they have like a like a full-blown fucking mental attack right so patrick tomlinson 
secluded himself in his basement and started shitting his pants and drooling and screaming at the top of his lungs. And in this moment of weakness, right, his wife, who I can't think of the name of, it's like Christy or some shit, uh, goes out to, um, goes out to the courthouse and takes out his checkbook because they have a married checking account, right? And then pays quasi on his behalf. And then his attorney just shows up um, that contempt of court here and says, we've come to an agreement. We've worked something out, right? So we were, the lawyer worked it out um, like Patrick Bateman style and just paid off quasi. And then uh, the wife comes home and is like, sweetie, sweetie pie, you won. They went to the hearing and everything was thrown out and you don't owe quasi anymore. It's all settled. You, you won. And then he's like, yes, stalker child, I already knew that. You may return to the kitchen uh, at your leisure. Enjoy prison. <laughs> and then he, get, he wakes up, he washes off all the poo in his pants, and then he immediately returns to Twitter and just says, no, stalker child, <laughs> I do not owe quasi anything. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's just what happened and now he's fine everything's okay again he'll figure out what to do about the money later when he realizes that there's a chunk of it missing i will just say that he'll lie and say that like a she'll lie and say that like a uh a troll stole it or something and then he'll go on twitter and complain about it <laughs> um so that's that uh that that arc has ended however retribution for the trolls is only just beginning. Patrick is scorned and he's not going to take um, this thing, which he doesn't mentally accept as having happened lying down. Jackie Singh, the only person who is pro Tomlinson, uh, a very, very ugly, fat, mentally ill Indian woman who thinks that she's a super hacker. Uh, published this tweet immediately after the payment was received. Um, in regards to trolls that had continued to see um, send Patrick annoying or, uh, you know, tr like trolling text messages. She says, hey, we are cinch. I am going to start contacting the six individuals on your board of directors one by one. If you don't take action to end the account associated with these messages and apply your TOS downstream to your white labeled apps to stop attackers getting a new number every five minutes. This, in my unprofessional opinion, is criminal extortion. You can, even if someone is doing something bad to you, you cannot go to a person or a company and tell them, hey, X, I am going to do Y unless you Z. Now, you can f threaten them with a lawsuit and say that they have uh, committed gross you know, negligence by allowing spammers and, uh, and the pests to keep annoying her or him with text messages. You're in your right to do that. You cannot tell a company that you're going to start harassing their directors unless they do something that you want them to do, even if what they, you're wanting them to do is to take action against a crime because she doesn't know what kind of action they take internally. They could be trying their very best to stop, you know, abuse of their services. She doesn't know that. She's just assuming that they're not doing anything because she's a, you know, an imbecile. So if they were to file a criminal complaint against her for extortion, um, they would actually be within the right to do so, I think, because this is pretty, pretty iffy, especially if she does start calling them up and, and harassing them as a form of retribution for, um, for not banning the people that she once banned, which is a bit bizarre. Uh, I, this, this person really like, I don't know what her malfunction is. I don't know why she, she's like this it's a little bit bizarre she is kind of like a weird female version of patrick and she found her way to him autonomously so i guess if his wife ever divorces him for being a big fat loser that lost you know tens of thousands of dollars in some bullshit lawsuit uh she could hook up with jackie or he could hook up with jackie they seem made for each other i don't know why they couldn't Yeah, but that's it. That's it for the, the Patrick stuff. They're, they're pretty made for each other, I think. Power couple. Yeah, that's right. 
power couple. That's the right word. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.